Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday. Here with a uh, Harry Potter review for Throwback Thursday. And today's of which is on the Chamber of Winged Keys and Snake's Classrooms from 2001. So on the front of each booklet, see Lego logo, the old time Harry Potter logo, picture of the set that there is, the set number, and a little section that is a corridor of Hogwarts, and yeah, on the back of this one after the PC CD ROM game and just the last building steps. The other one on the back same ad. And also out of all the other sets released at the time, which also a little a sneak preview of upcoming throwback Thursdays of course. And also them all connected together, which I'll also do in another video also. And also a little alternate build of the set. And another of which and some alternate shots also. Then the last steps. So first of which is Harry Potter himself, of which same kind that is in several in the several other sets, of course. The other sets from the time, it's the same starry cape and everything, but this time around does have the chrome key piece that has the blue wings on it, which unlike with the others in the set is also come in white obviously and whatnot. But of course, identifying it as the lucky key, of course. And well, in both set, in both of which do include the same version of Ron Weasley, of course. Same torso print and everything as Harry since, of course, they're both in Gryffindor. And has a great bar piece for the wand compared to the brown that the others have. And piece in which, which I think might be new for the time and no back torso print, no double side face because it's an older figure of course. And next to which is the early version of Severus Snape and he I think might be kind of the most advanced for the time like and probably the first to use this hair piece that was also used with with Obi-Wan in the Star Wars Episode 2 line in 2002, of course. And besides that, his torso print, leg prints all look good. The face print in which, uh, kind of alright. And what was common of these older Snape's figures is, is the headpiece. Once I flick off the light, you'll see it glow in the dark. Yay, glowing after all this time. Yeah. Although, from another point of view, others' point of views, kind of looks like he's about to puke or whatever, but. Besides that, no back horse print, nor double side face, since it's an older figure, obviously. And lastly, of which is Peeves, who was common only in the books, or or as one of the ghosts, obviously. But although the uh, torso print does feel kind of like uh, Headless Nick and Moaning Merle, in the uh, recent sets, of course, but besides that, I think they, they might still work out in modern sets, obviously, and no back dorsal print or anything, and, and yeah. So, first of which is with the Chamber of the Winged Keys. So, both of which have this kind of similar build, which is has the a smaller large brick and a, another larger brick. Which 
Although this does also kind of the same with the uh, Forbidden Corridor. But just in off way, but anyways. As you see with Chamber of Secrets here, it does have, or I mean, Chamber of Winged Keys, duh. As you see, kind of the same. Or, or it's quite bacon, you know, but and also a dark gray spider web with a trans uh, yellow spider in it. Since, of course, it's supposed to be like well abandoned and whatnot. And also, the neat little feature is to find out which key is which. Just push a little section, of course. And, of course, got the winged keys, of course. And on one section, is have a clip with a broom and a little old time door piece from earlier castle sets, of course. And further above is get the archway pieces, probably the whole other Hogwarts corridors above. Well, Snape's classroom will have that too. And for the further part of it, as I swing this open, which has that uh, sand green canopy piece, which a lot of these earlier sets had. And further down, and you can see there's the chest form. Oops, sorry. Is of course the chest room, which is and it has oh, what's not included as a figure, oh, which is the chest, a uh, king, queen, or whatever. And of course, does have this kind of dinky uh, crown piece, although not much. Kind of suiting to this scene in the movie, or in the chest room. Although it's like really wide and has all the pieces, the chest pieces, of course. But if I were Lego, I would suggest maybe use two of these large uh, plates and like have some more tiles on it and a couple more of that. Although that would have bumped the price up a little bit more. Or I. Or I do expect it to be, or unless if it was made nowadays, it would probably be much better and whatnot. But also, of course, enough space to fit your Harry and Ron mini fix. Although, should, although I think Hermione should also be in this, since she was also with them in this sequence, obviously. And next to it, with Snape's classroom. Oh, it's so, same kind of similar stuff going on, like, all it does have, oh, what's common in these earlier sets are hidden parts of which, like, lift this table up, and there's the, a little frog piece, probably representing a chocolate frog or whatever, and also the usual rat piece, of course, and old-time castle doorway piece that has a key in it, and also... You get this little panel that has all kinds of potions and the minifig skull added into it. And if I tilt this open, and it shows one of the books that there are. And ain't that interesting? Printing on the spine and both of which, and it's the older style that clips apart, other than with the newer style that was introduced with Nexo Knights, of course. You get plenty of translucent cylinders, which acting as potions and all. And also, same exact uh, spider web effect as Winged Keys did. And also, do get the Fabulan ladle uh, and cauldron, of course. And the feature is if you pull some, if you pull this thing in the back, is, or if you pull it hard enough, it makes it fall right off. And also revealing the like printed tile with a scroll on it, which was also used in the sorting hat set. And again, enough space to fit all the meat fix onto it for display purposes, of course. 
in a poly. Sets can come together, as which they do suggest in the back of most of the manuals. Is with the jagged slopes above, and like here's a, a final challenge, and fit that right in up like so. So now on to the final verdict on these two letters. Overall, these I think uh, quite good sets for the time, like Chamber of Winged Keys is one that we've never seen another version of. Well, neither we've seen new versions of, but although it would be great seeing a new version of that, and also the chess board, of course, since of course they were both the good scene in the movie, of course. Although it was kind of lacking of a Hermione, but I could forgive it, but all the, the earlier snakes of which was kind of odd with the glow-in-the-dark head and whatnot, but at least they fixed that later, but I can forgive these two for how they are. And also do get plenty of good, and also only time of having peeps, of course. And, uh, yeah. And of course, they do work well with the other corridor sets that there are, or obviously. And if you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these, then I'd say truly go ahead and pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.